Tempo. Hey everybody, Guiding Halo here. I just want to let you know that down below if you're going to purchase a personal reading, business coaching, all that sort of stuff, and you have Bitcoin, you will now find a link or something where you can send me Bitcoin. So I'm allowing that as payment as well. That is a cool thing. Also, I want to let you know that Friday, uh, tomorrow evening at 7... Mountain Time Canada. I gotta think of what my time zone is. <laughs> At 7 Mountain Time Canada, I will be going live for You Pay We Play, just for fun, just because you know I can. And then on um, Sunday, I believe it is, we are doing uh, another thing with Sarah of Seven Sacred Sisters. Go check her out. She's great. All right, um, just want to let you, blah, 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 I can't even talk. Seriously, what is with today? My mouth is like rambling and I can't even get the words out. Someone might really be in that energy, by the way. I've had a lot of uh, people's loved ones around me lately, so I suspect that's going to come out in the in the You Pay We Play as well. Show me interesting. Yeah, sure should. Anyways, I hope to see you guys there and uh, enjoy your weekend energies. And I hope to see you tomorrow night. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. Guiding Halo here. Let's find out what your weekend energies are, shall we? What are your weekend energies? Weekend energies. This coming weekend for my Taurus friends. I'm telling you, I don't know if you've all felt the energy shift, but I sure have. Wow. Holy crap. It's been intense. It's been intense emotionally. It's been intense spiritually. Yeah. I, I want to say that I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for this shift. Absolutely have. But in the time before this energy shift, this shift that's happening right now, I want you to understand that if you had not taken the action you'd taken, if you had not done what you were supposed to be doing, if you had not done everything exactly how you were led to do it, exactly how you did it, never mind led to, but exactly how you did it, the energy wouldn't have shifted. If the energy has not shifted for you yet, I do do personal readings. I also do personal growth coaching. I also do personal business coaching. Um, I teach people how to read tarot, uh, seven sacred sisters. She has, uh, put up a beautiful video, a beautiful video, which I've put in the comments of my channel, congratulating her and stepping really, really, it's about stepping past the front lines of, or the lines of fear into the front lines of your life. I mean, who do you, do you want someone else in the front lines of your life? No, 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 we don't. We want to be in the front lines of our life. And the way to do that is to be the person that creates the change. So trust that you're divinely led. Trust that in every moment, everything comes your way for divine purpose. I'm waiting for cards to come out. Someone's, someone's playing that. I don't know if I want to come out yet. Oh, there was the cards fall down. It's like, I'm coming out. Someone's coming out. Oh man, holy crap, someone's coming out. Oh my goodness, the three cards that jumped out for you guys. I'm telling you right now, Pluto on the 13th has just shifted a 24, 20 something year cycle. Where were you in 1997? Did all of a sudden you have this energy that you needed to create change? Did you have this energy of, of stepping into um, a more powerful way of being and a more powerful way of using your own personal resources. Oh, here's, here it is, a new powerful way of honoring your resources. 
and what you have, the gifts you have. Because because when you honor them, all of a sudden those gifts become resources. Yeah, they do. And I want to tell you, I know and I can see the journey my Taurus friends have been on, especially with these three cards. You put an end to something. You said enough. The energy shifts and it's like, okay, that's over. Now let's move forward. <laughs> the question is, I want to sit here and say that this may have been November energy for some of you very well may have been November energy, or there's something that you want to put a dead end stop to. There's enough crap. There's enough going on. There's enough of this, enough of that. I'm putting a dead end to this thing. As you do, that's when the divine gives you a new journey. It's called a big old fat sword to take as your truth forward. But there's something yet that seems amiss for whoever this reading is for. Um, so I'm getting that the energy the divine wants you to know about for this reading, for this weekend, is um, one of balancing yourself. After this energy, a lot of times there's there's it's a beautiful shift in energy, but it, it really comes with the need to balance yourself. We want to take the time. It's like the in-between of the portal, right? You have the portal, the world card opening, and one foot's in one side and one foot's in the other. You've heard me say this before. And as the portal starts to close, you decide which way you're going. Well, I see you guys are putting into something. Now, there's something about finding balance among the conflict. There's something about a conflict or a something. Something needed to be put to an end mentally in order for you to get through a process combatively it's like okay now now that this is ended and the conflict is done and then I, I'm de is something that you're still grappling with in your passions in your heart in your energy um, balancing your chakras I want to say uh, there's a huge thing about balance here for what I'm getting for you guys with this but as you do have that balance I think it's I don't know how it shows up in the the cards but this one came out first and this one so anyway <laughs> I don't know if it mirrors when I'm showing it to you or whatever but <clears throat> the next card that comes out my friends as you're sitting there dealing with the battle that you're having or have had the next thing that happens is which you haven't seen yet I want to say you haven't seen yet and it's not necessarily an opportunity but what I'm telling you is it's a tangible showing up in the world that we live in of the work you've done. And I'm telling you, it's a big mofo and deal. Yeah, look at that. You see, there's something that you've been grappling with. But I am telling you, soon on the horizon, you have gone through the portal, the gate, and you are now on the other side. And, and it's been a hard line to get to this place. It's not been easy. It's been like a, it's been like a, uh, what, where, when, how? How is the energy going to shift? How is my mind going to give up on the, the old crap? How am I going to release the resistance to, to all of the everything? And then all of a sudden, the planets shift and we have a new Pluto cycle. And as you step into this new Pluto cycle, I am telling you, the beauty of the divine is about to bring you in the 3D a tangible gift as proof and evidence of what you yourself have been through and of what you yourself have created is absolutely beautiful. So I want to I want to praise you guys so much and I want to just send you blessings. I want you to know that on this journey that you're on if you have been in this energy of the shit show <laughs> in your mind, if you've been in this energy of the battle with your passions and trying to balance yourself and keeping the people that you talk to balanced and all that sort of thing, if you've been in that energy, the beauty that is about to show up is exponential. I want to say between the 17th and well, oh, that week, a 23rd, between the 17th and 23rd are going to be some of the most energetic and most massive shifts in a person's life. It's absolutely going to be amazing for you. Absolutely amazing. So keep up the faith and trust that everything has happened in divine timing. Also, 
I would say out of the biggest thing I get from this, this whole, these three cards and all the energy that's coming forward is for the need to stop doubting that you are loved, that the divine loves you, to stop the battle within about how to use your resources, about battling as to which way to move forward next. Because I'm telling you, everything is damn quick about to show up. I love you guys. I hope this resonates and I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.